You know, some places are just made to be torn down, and uh, this place should have been torn down years ago. Like, all of these light fixtures even, all it takes is someone coming up and just planting a C4 charge in there, and once that gets blown up, it just crumbles down to dust. And then it just starts pulling down the rest of these light fixtures too. Like, this one's probably gonna hit me. Oop. Oh, and look at that. It's wrecking the sign to Wah! <laughs> and it's wrecking the building that it's hitting. And they're crashing into each other. And that one's doing a backflip over the pipe. So yeah, we're just gonna have some fun tearing this down. Though, strangely enough, this one didn't get torn down at all. I guess it wasn't connected. But what we can do is just make it lean one way with this gravitizer and it goes wee and then we just cut that off oh and it just crashed into the sign nice and uh these pipes have a little bit of gravity too right so can we just take this segment and make it shoot upward uh maybe do we need to shoot it hey minigun do your thing uh whoa and uh yeah <laughs> that's just going up and uh over there i guess it's like a elephant waving his trunk around what if we disconnected the rest of the way Right over here, and uh, whoa, <laughs> it's a little too heavy for its own gravity. Let's uh, cut it in half again. And uh, woo, there it goes. See you later. <laughs> this is the teardown spaceship program. And I really want to have some fun with these cooling towers too. So if we just take this handy dandy magic wand called an Omni Cutter and just slice it off at the base. Oh yeah, that just cuts through very nicely. Oh, and uh, huh. It didn't collapse all that much. Although, since this thing is disconnected right now, I sort of just want to make it float away with some balloons. And planting a few of these would take forever because the lift isn't very great. They're also just kind of clip art. So let's just give these balloons a nice amount of lift and uh, start decorating this thing some more. Not sure how many balloons we're going to need, but I'll use as many as I have to. And there's also a lot of real estate on here, so we can just paint this with balloons all day. Well, it's definitely lifting up the pipe. That's right there. Woo! That's promising. Thing, sort of. Whoop. Except pieces just break off. And uh, oh. <laughs> there goes the rest of it. Oh, I think I see it wobbling. Oh, it is. It's definitely trying to get up there. Just keep on pouring on the balloons all around and everywhere. Whoop. <laughs> Accidentally tagged a light pole there. Whee! That one goes away too. This one just snapped off and it's kind of just here. Uh, tear down meets Minecraft. Oh, I just crashed into it and it comes down. Bonk. Okay, I decided to give these balloons 10 times the amount of lift I was before. Hopefully, it only takes like one or two. Uh, or maybe a lot. Man, this thing is heavy. Oh, oh, but there it goes. Woo, it's doing flips. <laughs> oh, man, and it's destroying itself. That is menacing. Let's get a few more on there. Look at it go. Woo, it's so majestic. <laughs> oh, it's so graceful. But then... If we delete all the balloons, oh no, what have I done? <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. I didn't even give myself room for this. Oh, crash. Wow, crash my computer too, why don't you? Oh, that was amazing. I need to send more stuff up with balloons. Like uh, maybe this smokestack. Just need a couple C4 to dislodge it. So now let's blow it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, wow. Uh, oh, uh-oh, it's falling over. It's falling on the other smokestack. Oh, and boy, oh, just shearing it. Oh, that was pretty good. I didn't realize how thick this smokestack was. That is a chonker right there. And it just very nicely cleaved that cooling tower. But now's the time to send it up into space. I worry this thing is gonna be like doubly thick as the nuclear cooling towers, but it should just take a few more of this and decorating this thing on the inside. But these balloons are very bright red, wow. I guess that's what happens when they're just a image. Come on, lift into space. Maybe just a little bit of a gravity boost will help it. Just give it a bit of upward influence. I think it might be stuck on something. Oh, but there it goes. Whoa. Okay. And then uh, I turn off the gravity on it. There, now it's going. I think. It's kind of just raining down bits of brick everywhere. Uh, oh, it's coming back down. No, 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 no. You need to stay up there. Stay up there. Stay afloat. Ah, this isn't working. And gentle landing. Right on the power supply. I was told I could get you up in this space. There we go. Look at it go. Yay! Woo-hoo! Give it a few more seconds of airtime. And then we delete all the balloons and make it crash. Oh, it left the it left the sky zone. Is it coming back? Oh, yep, there it is. Is that coming down on me? Uh whoa! Oh. <laughs> the 
didn't matter how thick that thing was. It just got pancaked. There's uh, also something I never expected to see on this map. <laughs> it's yeah, Tomator. I have no idea what he's doing at a nuclear plant, but I think we can help him fulfill his dreams of uh, being an astronaut or a car astronaut. Anyway, look at him go. He's just spinning around like crazy. I don't think he knows what he's doing. Maybe he didn't really sign up for this and I just kind of put him to it. So let's just bring him back down to earth. Oh boy. Is he coming down on that building or past it? Uh, he's kind of past it. Whoop. <laughs> hey, uh, you okay over there? Hold on. Did he land it? Oh my gosh. I think he landed it. Wow. Yeah, it took a bit of a hit on the cheek, but wow. Look at you. You and me, we're going to go places. I'm not really sure how I feel about this. Driving a sentient car from the inside. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> there goes his face. It's fine. He only had a few teeth left anyway. And I think he really wants to know what's going on inside the plant. So, whoop. Uh, and get her done. Uh, well, he kind of opened the door. Maybe he wasn't meant to go inside the facility because he can't even see anymore. So, uh, sorry, buddy. Let's just bury you in space. But what do we have going on in here? Oh, the big nuclear vat. And let me tell you, this thing is really loud. Especially if I just come over here and stand on top of it. Something else kind of fun is this map gave me a Geiger counter. So I can see that this thing is having 3.6 rowing gens. I have no idea what that means. But then if we're right in front of it where those guys are, it's high radiation levels detected. Gee, I wonder why. So what I want to know is if I cut away this reactor bit, can I make it fly away with balloons? This would be a delicate procedure, so we have to be extremely careful about how we proceed. So anyway, let's just cut out the whole of this. Very nice along the edges, and it's tearing away the ceiling too. That's what I like. And it's also cutting out the power lines in the back there. Is there just a little bit that's still intact right there? Just, eh. Shoot a little laser at it. A little danger licorice. There we go. And then this side over here. Never mind the railing. Because it's actually still attached. Oh, there goes the cage on top. Okay, we're fine. Everything is fine. And uh, we do need to cut away the ceiling as well. So let's just do that right along here. And there goes the railing. Whoa. <laughs> Those guys went for a tumble. Oh, man. Okay. There's a lot of danger that's gonna happen right there. So we're gonna get up to the roof and see what we're working with. So I want this roof bit to kind of just float away. So, we're, whoa. Uh, what's going on there? Is it picking? I, did, I didn't want to pick that. Hold on. Go away with that. I want to select the roof and the roof. I said the roof. Uh, something weird is happening with the balloons. It can pick that just fine. I really don't know what else could be happening. Maybe it's connected to the world and that's why? I can still lift up this cage, right? Whoa, that is a yes. And uh, <laughs> it is just eating away at the roof. And then we do it to this side. Uh-huh. And it's just aggressively fighting itself. But now it's kind of worthless, so let's get that out of the way. Whoops, shot some acid. So this is a big container right here. And I want to be able to just lift it straight out. So let's just see if I can increase the area it has to work with. Uh, let's cut through this. Okay, whoa, oh, okay, that fell away, which is promising. So it's its own object now, right? I should be able to just, yes, I can connect balloons to it. Ooh, this is promising. And yes, fly. Gotta get outside and hopefully do this. It is currently stuck. So let's take this and cut away some more until it can free itself and away it goes. Wow, it just took out the crane. Okay, so I think that's a good space for us to work with and we're still okay. Okay, so how do I separate this thing without it going all crazy? Maybe just systematically detaching the cage. I'm just here to blow stuff up. Is that too much to ask? Oh, cage is gone. Okay, and then I guess we can just send it away. Almost out. This needs a little more oomph and a little more clearance. And whoa, careful they're crashing into the tank, are we? Whoa! <laughs> and then it just gets sucked out. So now we just have to cut this away. Do we just do it like so? Oh, whoa. yes we do. Okay, cool. Uh, it's really shaking violently. Oh, what is that squeezing out the top? What? <laughs> I guess the inner chamber is uh having problems. How does it look from the top? Uh, like a mess. <laughs> So let's uh, cut away some more of these bits I know won't get exploded just yet. Oh, this top is indestructible. Well, that's a problem. Thankfully, this little thing has a nifty way to solve that problem by just 
casually lifting it up and out of here. Let's just, uh, yeet. <laughs> I have no idea how maybe that thing was supposed to be, but it's indestructible, so I want it out of here. Also, this bit is entirely unattached, so let's just uh, float it away. That's what you do with things that are unattached, right? What if we float a chair? Whoop. <laughs> that chair becomes a crazy weapon. How about a dude? Whoop. It's so fast. I might need to turn down the force after I lift this away. And it's, it's really trying. It's really trying. There ah. <laughs> Okay, I might need to cut this thing again. So just uh yeah. And then yep, that solved it. Whee! Except this bit came back. Uh oh. Don't crash on that. Get on out of here like you were supposed to. Yay! Whoop, I just fell. But that's still going, and it's away. And now the rest of it. Where is the big, ooh, ooh, hello there. You look like a big juicy nuclear core. So let's just get this little shell out of here. Uh, maybe, maybe not yet. Just cut it away. Take away bits of it. Oh, that, that absolutely did not work. Okay, but you see the core right there. So if we just carefully, uh, uh, what are you doing? You were supposed to just float away. How hard can that be? Come on, just float more of it. You're supposed to have the ultimate power lift. Yes, yes. Now I just need to get this bits out of the way. Like a railing and a ceiling. Okay, ceiling is detached. So now we can float that with balloons. Yes, yes, it's lifting. And it's just barely getting stuck. Are you kidding me? Chop away the little bits that are keeping us from glory. Yes, yes, go away. Woo, so graceful. And now you, just a few more balloons, hopefully do the trick. I don't want it to zip away like everything else has been doing. I'd much rather see it gently fly up and then fall down immensely. But it just likes to get caught on everything. So that bit should be safe to cut away. I would think. How is that attached? Oh, yes, there it goes. Quick, bring it back. Uh, get rid of balloons. Ha. Oh, man. How quickly is that going to fall down? I need to get out of here. Oh, gosh, there it is. Oh. Oh. Huh? What just happened? It didn't blow up right there, but I hear a lot of crashing happening inside. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I guess that thing was scripted just to blow up in here, but we did float away a nuclear core, so that was pretty cool. Thankfully, I have a nuclear airplane, so I can do the things I was supposed to see happen. Boom! Oh, nuclear explosions all day! Blow up the chimney stack! And that actually didn't blow up that much. Man, the other plane is so much better. So let's bring this back and launch a cluster bomb. Yes! Destruction everywhere! I was wanting to see my computer nuked, and so I shall nuke it myself! And there goes that chimney falling and crumbling down to dust. Come on, please fall away. There's bombs raining down literally everywhere. How are you not falling? Oh, yes, there it is! It just hollowed out. Whoa, there goes the rest of it. What a fun day to be in teardown. Well, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed me abusing the power of balloons to questionable ends, but what fun is it if it doesn't blow things up? Also, if you're wondering, the explosion was supposed to look like this. <laughs> Just absolutely destroys everything, as the way it should. Sub to intern. And I do want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Dakota C, Calvin K, Mr. Cripple One, Master Roshi, Ancient Elixir, Corby Farm, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Cowboy, Donomoto, Deviant X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, and Splattersax.